products for the next products. The next two products are gonna be eyeshadows. These I put them at the end, like the last two products I put them at the end because they are not as big regrets as the ones that I've already shown. The first ones, everything that you saw until now, they are really big regrets and I, I don't like them. But these products, I guess that they can be worked with, but still, I would probably like to get my money back from them because they are not my style and they don't work too much for me. So first I have this small, small, I don't know how you call this, like small palette, I guess, and it's from Bourjois, and they say smoky eyes. And this silky, easy to blend in textures, eight hours wear, I don't know how to call this, though. It's called Eyeshadow Trio, because they are three. So I like Bourjois. And well, this was mostly my problem because I don't like the uh, colors. So I like Bruja, so I said I'm gonna try this. But the colors, I also like them when I saw them in the packet. I like them because they are like this kind of pinkish. And I wear a lot of pink. But as you can see in the image, too, like in the, on, on them too, they seem different. They don't seem different, they seem different to me. But when you actually apply them, they all look the same. So why I would want to buy three pinks that have the same color, the same sheen, the same everything, I wouldn't want. So I'm just gonna swatch them and show them to you in a moment. They are a bit different, especially the, the first one from the second one, but I don't know if you can see. There is such a small difference between them. And I don't really know how you would use this in the eye look, like only if you on the hand you can see a bit of difference, but trust me, when you put them on your eyes, you can see any difference. At least I can't see anything. Like let's say you put this dark one all over the lid and one of the lightest one in the inner corner to give more light. Nothing, you can't see anything. I can say that I do use this when I use other kind of pinks on my eye and I use this on my inner corner just to brighten everything up. But that's also probably this palette, I use it every two months, three months. So yeah, I don't really like it, but this is more my fault than the brand fault, because the consistency is very nice. They are very creamy, they are beautiful colors, but still you can make any look with them, like by themselves any look. Okay, the next product is gonna be a big palette, and this is by Sephora. I love Sephora, I have another palette, I don't think you can see it, it's a big big palette with, I don't know, 100 and something uh, eyeshadows, which I bought when I was just at the beginning of collecting makeup and that palette really helped me because I had no eyeshadows so that was my first real big deal makeup uh, palette and because I like that so much I bought this one two years ago maybe and this was the summer edition I said oh it's like cheap it's kind of good quality even the other one is not the best quality but it's good quality and the colors are workable and there are many and I bought it, it looks like a tablet has a very beautiful pink here, as you can see. You can fold it like this and put it on your table. It has here a beautiful mirror. I'm not gonna show you because you're gonna get blind. And here are the colors. <clears throat> now, first of all, talking about the colors. I don't know as much as you, how much you can see about them, but they are basically repeats. They have here a range of light colors that look exactly the same and these things too like these lights the first light and half of the uh, the second one they look like they are the same colors i don't know what they are going with that like the brow bone color i understand one two three four five but not so many then they have many pinks that repeat like these pinks are very much the same they have um, some purplish, they are kind of the same. I don't know, they are just, just pretty much the same thing. They have some that pop, but the thing is they are not pigmented enough, they don't blend that good, they are very chalky, so when you put them, you actually see that it's the same color. Now again, if I'm gonna do some swatches, they're probably gonna look different. But think about the fact that when you put them on your eye, you blend them, so blending them takes away the color, and way more, like you are left with similar colors. Let's look at these colors. They look different here, but if I would be blending them, I'm just trying to blend them on my hand, but it's like not possible. They look pigmented here, but again, on the eye, the eye really not that much. 
and these light colors they are really there is really no difference between them now again I put this at the end because even if they are not the best quality and even if they are very much alike in a eye look, in a tutorial, whatever, in a makeup look you could use potentially some of these but this makeup palette doesn't even stay with the rest of my makeup palette because I just don't like using it since it's so difficult to use it and it has so many colors that are pretty much the same and it also there are some which are not looking quite nice like, I don't like the colors by themselves but again, in certain looks, you might not have a certain color in your favorite palettes and you have to go back to these bigger palettes and with weird colors and bad pigmentation. So potentially, I do think that you could work with them. Even for a daily looks, you, there are some certain colors that you can work with. But on the whole, I don't know if I would repurchase it or not because I'm not using it that much. I might make a goal to use it up, but I don't know how well it's gonna make. But on the other hand, even if it's bad quality and the colors are not that nice, it's cheap. So if you're at the beginning of your beauty journey, you could buy something like this and just have some eyeshadows to play with. But I recommend a bigger one. I think it's a Makeup Academy, something like that. That has way better quality and way better diversity. And the colors are truly beautiful. This is kind of a pass for me. But again, I'm not completely against it. But yeah, it's not not a good palette. And the last product, I have to go for it, are these <coughs> small beauty blenders. Mm, they are called mini beauty blenders, micro beauty blenders, whatever. So maybe for this I'm gonna get some hate, I don't know. Because beauty blenders are amazing. The big one, the, like the face ones, are amazing. They definitely change the makeup world. This, this, they are the only things that I used to apply my found that I those are the only things that I apply with my foundation with and also my concealer with. So I truly, truly love them. I bought over three, four of them. I love them. I'm gonna continue purchasing them. They are a great quality for a great price. The price is high, but the quality is amazing too. So I will never stop buying those. And I don't wanna say bad things about this brand because I truly love it. But these little things, I think they cost exactly the same as the big, like a big uh, sponge. And to me, they don't do anything. They're supposed to be for your under eye from the places where you can reach with a big one. I think that you can reach with a big one everywhere. And they are so small and it's hard to hold them in your hand. And many times I'm just dropping them all over. So yeah, it's been a regret purchasing. I wanted to try them, so that's why I bought them because I thought they are interesting. But after I tried them, I realized that the beauty, the big beauty blender, it's way better than this. And instead of buying this, I could have bought one of those. So that's my regret, that I didn't bought another one of the big ones and I bought these ones. But at least I know how they are and I can give you a mini review of it. But they are not worth it and I don't know if there ever was a hype about them. I rarely saw them in videos because I think that people in general don't like them. At least that's what I think. Whew, so we finally finished. They have been... Well, not so many, but I did talk about them quite a lot. And yeah, again, as I said at the beginning, hopefully you're not gonna hate me for this. If they are products that you love, I'm sorry for it. I don't like them, but we are different, so that's okay. Maybe I like uh, some products that you don't like and vice versa, so it doesn't really matter. Here we are just talking about our personal things on every YouTube video, so... If you feel offended by this, please don't feel offended. And if you don't like it, then just don't watch videos like this. I love watching videos like this, so that was why I film it. So yeah, that was all. Um, if you like it or if you feel the same about certain products that I showed you, please let me know down below and tell me your regrets, like your biggest regret of all the makeup products. I'm really interested in these things. So yeah. That's all. Again, leave a like and subscribe and I'm gonna see you next time. Bye.